Welcome to our demonstration of the planner tool for the Life Planning for You website. We're going to jump right in. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've created a make believe planner. I'll just log in. You'll notice the planner menu up at the top here. That lets you know that you're logged into your planner account. The view that opens up first is the practice view. This shows all of your clients. You'll see this first column here. By hovering over your client's name, it offers a link to email them. This can be very convenient. In the second column, you'll notice that it shows their last access. This is when your client last logged in, so you can tell if they're actively working on the broke process and their homework. The third column shows progress, and there's a bunch of very neat tools here. The dashboard is where you assign the evoke exercises to your client. I'll just click on this button here and I'm taken to the dashboard page. You'll see that the first three items are checked. You can simply check and uncheck the boxes at will. Then this assigns or unassigns them to my client. You'll notice over here there's a completed column. This is where the client checks that he's completed the exercises and it automatically shows up on my site as well. Let's say I want to assign my client the three questions and the heart's core and the goals for your life to get them started. You might be wondering what this looks like from the client's page, so let's go take a look. I've opened a new browser window here, and for purposes of this demo, I've created a make-believe client that we can use to see things from their point of view. I'll just log in, and you'll notice we land on the client's Evoke dashboard page. This is the first thing your client will see when they log in. The three exercises that I assigned over on the planner side are now here for the client to use. If I click on the Hearts Core grid, it takes me to the Hearts Core exercise. I'll just scroll down. If I click Next, it takes me back to the Evoke dashboard for the client. You'll notice this client has also customized their photos. This is a fantastic feature because it really lets the client personalize the evoke process with things that are relevant to their goals and their dreams. We'll just take a look at the three questions here as well. You'll notice that this is a wizard of four pages. The three questions are strung together. I'll just click next, question one, question two, and question three. When I hit next this time, it again takes me back to the Evoke dashboard. As the client, I can check that I've completed these two exercises and say I haven't completed the goals for life. Now let's go back over to the advisor side and see what that looks like from there. We're now back in the planner's account and we'll click on dashboard and take a look. I'll just scroll down here and you can see that the three exercises I originally assigned are there and two have been checked off as completed. If I'd like to check off more exercises, I can do that. One thing I'd like to mention is that these exercises are customizable. We saw the evoke three questions strung together in a mini wizard of four pages. An example of customizing would be that we could break apart each question into to appear as a separate exercise. You could also do this with the ideal day, week, and year, or the current week and year. Or you could go the opposite direction and we could string the three questions, the heart's core, and the goals for your life together in one wizard. Now let's take a look at the summary page. The summary page is where you'll see a condensed collection of all your, evoke, your clients' evoke exercises. You'll notice up at the top, their photos are there. As we scroll down, there's their evoke exploration exercise, question one, question two, question three, heart's core. One of the great features of this page is that you can print a PDF or save it in electronic format. I'll just click here and we'll wait for the PDF to generate. You'll notice it's downloading here. I'll just click on it when open when done and you'll notice here it is. One of the fantastic things about this PDF is that it has the client's name, my name as the planner, and has the date and time. 
and then down here it has the page numbers. You'll notice the client's pictures are on this PDF and all their exercises that we saw on the previous summary page on the website. This can be saved in electronic form for archives, it can be printed and filed, or it could be emailed to the client. It's a really great resource. We're back on the planner menu and now let's go into the details. This takes you into the client's actual evoke wizard so you can see it in its entirety. There might be a situation where you've looked at this client summary page but it doesn't quite give you the full picture that you're looking for. So you go into the details page. Now we'll take a look at the tools menu. First we'll click on office view. Office view is a little different than practice view. It allows you to see all the advisors and the clients that are in a practice. In this practice it's just me and my three clients but I've set up another test account that shows a more elaborate situation. Let's go take a look. Here you can see a different situation. There's Martha the manager, she has two clients, and she has three planners that directly report to her. Under each planner you can see their clients and over here to the right you can see when their clients last logged in to do their evoke work. As a manager, I cannot access another planner's client's evoke worksheets. This can only be done by the individual planners. Let's continue exploring the tools menu. This time we'll go down to enroll a client. From this page, you'd add a new client to your planner account. If they already have a consumer account on the website, you'd put their email address in here and then select the brand you'd like to choose for them. This planner has three brands, a base brand, a brand in Dutch that they use for their Netherlands clients, and a brand for their U.S. clients. I'm going to select the base brand. We'll come back and talk about brands in a moment. Then you'd hit the submit button. Once you hit the submit button, it sends a message to your client's account. The next time they log in, they see a message asking them to give their permission and agree to work with you or they can decline. Let's continue exploring the tools menu. This time we're going to go down and explore the test branding. The first brand we're going to look at is Joe Planner Incorporated. I'll hit the submit button and here we are. You'll notice a logo up here at the top and what we call our slogan over here to the right. These two can be interchanged, you can do one or the other, you can make the logo span the whole width of the header except for this area over here, you can remove the slogan altogether, scrolling down to the bottom of the page, the footer, color, and text can be modified, and then this gray box here, this is what we're calling the disclaimer. As you know, a lot of advisors need to put disclaimers on their websites, and so this is an area that can be customized for that. Additional features also include this blue bar which shows your name, the planner that the client's working with, and when you click on it, it has a contact information, it has a place you can fill out for a bio, and a photograph. Additional features that can be customized at a more advanced level are the menus, the color of the menus, and other features. I've switched over to another planner now so we can look at some additional brands. The first one we'll look at is the Louis Volbrecht base brand. Louis Volbrecht is also one of our trainers and he happens to be from the Netherlands. You'll notice his logo up here. He's got his slogan. Let's go back to the test branding page. The next brand, brand we'll test is the Netherlands. This is actually in Dutch. As I said, Louis lives in the Netherlands and some of his clients speak Dutch. You'll notice this text is all in Dutch and scrolling back up to the top, the logo is a little different and the slogan's in Dutch. We'll return once again to the test branding page. You can create as many brands as you'd like for your company. There is a cost involved but it might be nice in, in Louis's case to have 
one brand that works for his Netherlands clients and another that works for his English speaking clients. Another option might be if you had different tiers of clients, say silver, gold, platinum, you might want to have a slightly different look and feel or a slightly different menu and exercises for each of these sets of clients. Another option is to use our Gen brand. This is it here. It uses our Life Planning for You logo and it has the text Client Portal. The last thing we're going to look at is Explore LP for You. This basically takes you the, into the complete Evoke Wizard. I'll just scroll down and it takes you to page one of the Evoke process. You can use the next buttons to scroll through the Evoke process or you could go up to the menu and go to a specific part. The nice thing about this is it gives you the option to look at all the different exercises that are available in the Evoke Wizard and perhaps add something to what you have for your clients currently. Well, that about wraps it up for our demo today. Thank you very much.